Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Latif and today I'm trying to explain how Milan used all space to break Inter's defense. Inter played with 3-5-2 lineup. Milan played with 4-2-3-1 lineup. Inter met Milan with high pressing. They were not so aggressive, but didn't let Milan make game from defense comfortably. This time, Milan tried to use four players with long and direct passes to make game, but they couldn't be effective from this way. Because after a long ball, even Milan's one forward could take the ball. Because Inter's midfielders and wingbacks were closer to Inter's defense than Milan's midfielders, Inter's midfielders and wingbacks could support stoppers quickly and didn't let Milan's forward be effective. After Inter scored a goal, they shifted a little bit behind and downgraded pressing. And Milan's one of the defensive midfielders or fullbacks close to defense line to be the third stopper. This time, from all spaces, Milan could be more comfortable in back. Because to support inter center for about pressing, one of the midfielders had to shift to forward. And before he came for pressing, Milan's defenders found enough space to make game from all spaces. And Milan's offensive midfielders started to take position closer to center forward. Also right winger close to midfield. But all these things didn't help to Milan to make game effectively. Defenders could find enough spaces in all spaces, but Milan's forwards were not good about movements in forward, so defenders couldn't pass to them quickly. Milan's positioning changed in forward didn't work because now only players' names changed. Still, there were players in the same spaces, and positioning chains were not coordinated so they couldn't confuse Inter's defenders' minds. With little shifts, Inter's players could cover Milan's players comfortably. In the second half, Milan started to be more effective. In the second half, fullbacks started to take position in all spaces and wingers close to midfield more. It helped to Milan to pass Inter's midfield line. Because when fullbacks close to half space, they start to be a direct threat for Inter's midfielders. Because from half space, if Milan's players could find space, they could be effective centrally. So this time Inter three midfielders had to cover three Milan midfielders and two fullbacks at the same time. Inter had a numerical advantage with 3 vs 5. Normally, if Inter center force could support midfielders about defending, they could equal numerical. And they supported, but it wasn't enough. We can understand from a situation. For example, in this situation, Milan tries to make it. Left stopper has the ball and Inter right center forward meets him. When he passes to left back, all Inter's midfielders had to shift to right a little bit to support pressing. Inter's right center midfielder means left back and he can't meet him quickly, because he was taking position closer to center. So to meet all space, he loses time, and he can't cover left back quickly. It gives left back extra time and space to look at his pass options. Inter's right center forward close to Milan's left defensive midfielder to cover him, but he can't cover him, because when he started to close to Milan's left defensive midfielder, Milan's left defensive midfielder start to close to forward to be a pass option for left back too. So the distance between Inter's right center forward and Milan's left defensive midfielder doesn't change. Still, Milan's left defensive midfielder has enough space. Left back can pass to left defensive midfielder. Inter's right center midfielder couldn't off track left back to pass to left defensive midfielder because, as I said before, because left back was in all space. Inter's right center midfielder couldn't close the left back quickly, and Milan's left defensive midfielder has enough space and time to be effective with the ball, because Inter's right center forward and defensive midfielder can't close to him quickly. I explained right center forward situation, so I won't explain again. And Inter's defensive midfielder was matching with Milan's offensive midfielder, so he couldn't close with Milan's left defensive midfielder either. So now it's easy for Milan to make game, because now they just have to pass to the free player. In this situation, Milan's right back close to forward from all space as a free player, and Milan's players can pass to him comfortably and quickly. And after right back has the ball, because the entire defense line wasn't supporting midfield, left stopper doesn't close to Milan's right back quickly, and Milan's right back is completely free. Milan scored the second goal from this way. Milan's wingers could benefit from defense lines not supporting to midfield. When wingers came to midfield, they had enough time and space to be effective with the ball, because Inter swing makes it in close to Milan's fingers immediately if fingers were closing to midfield. 
Thanks for watching this video guys. I hope this video can be beneficial for you. You can follow my Twitter and Instagram account and also you can check my blog. May football be with you.